Yozora. Okay, so hey guys, we're on a new segment of Talk of the Town. Today we have special guest, Boog. Boog! How y'all doing, y'all? <laughs> so tell people where you from. I'm from Bronx, New York. Okay, so how was it growing up in the Bronx? Um, growing up, uh, I, I grew up on a, in a lot of uh, parts of the Bronx, to be honest. So like, I'm really like a Bronx head. I got to see like different perspective in different areas, you feel me? Um, ones that are closer to my heart than others. Um, but it's a lot, you know, it's a lot uh, not to fall into temptation. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's a, you know, doing all the things. Yeah, you know, doing all the, you feel me? But it was, it was cool, you feel what I'm saying? I found good friends, you feel what I'm saying? It, I like being from the Bronx, short. Okay. Not so sure. So, who's some artists you was listening to growing up? Um, <clears throat> listen to a lot of uh, Fifty Cent. Uh, my pops used to bump Jay to Kiss a lot. Uh, but personally, I like Drake. Uh, you feel me? J Cole, Kendrick's. Okay. You know those people. Okay. So, do you what? What's like your earliest memory of music? Would you say? Earliest memory. Uh -huh. Um. To be honest, it's when um, my pops had bought uh, Get Rich or Die Trying, like, and he used to bump the CD, or, but he had gotten the wrong one. He got the soundtrack instead of the real album, so I was really bumping the soundtrack. But that's like the earliest memory I have that, you feel what I'm saying? It was a good feeling I got from that album. So um, how did you get into music now? Um, I was about like 16, and um, me and my cousins used to just freestyle. And I used to get mad because I couldn't really freestyle that good. So like I ended up going, we used to freestyle on the fire escape. I went back in and wrote a little something. And then, you know, come back I, I, did, I did, I did, I could write, but you feel what I'm saying? Like freestyling wasn't my thing. So that's what really drove me to do more. Okay, so get in the better field of freestyle. So when did you record your first song? Oh, uh, I would say like 17, I'm 25 now. So it's like eight years ago, I would say the first, yes. first song. Okay. It, it was it was cool. You feel what I'm saying? It was it was eh, it was just getting wow. started. Wow. So um, how do you feel like you improved musically from then to now? I've grown a lot. To be honest, I just put out like my first project, like first real projects. Back then, I used to just drop little songs. They weren't really mastered all the way. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't really have a plan with my music, so now it's like that's more clear to me. Okay. So in the project, where can people find it? What's it called? Um, the project is called Bookamorphosis. You can find it on all streaming platforms, Apple, Spotify, Tidal, you name it. You feel me? I just dropped a video for one of the songs on there called Money Is Calling. It's on YouTube. You feel what I'm saying? You could bump it anywhere. So Bookamorphosis. Mm, Bookamorphosis. What, what, what inspired that title? So um, I got it from Metamorphosis, you know, the mm -hmm. stages of the butterfly and whatnot. Okay. And Bugamorphosis is a, you feel me, a play on my name or whatnot. And so, like, the, basically the theme is, Bug is, is who I started with, you feel what I'm saying? That my name at first was D-Boogie. Mm -hmm. So, like, Bug, I got that from short because my friends just started calling me Bug, and that's, like, my signature ad-lib before okay. I, I start a song. So, Bugamorphosis, you feel it's just me growing as a person, you feel what I'm saying? I'm Muslim now, so like I, I add the Muslim into my music, so like the Bugamorphosis is half and half. Okay, do you feel like that would be a conflict later on? Added the the, the the Islam into the I think it I think it could because you know, you feel me, a lot of people judge or whatnot. So but I'm I'm I feel like I'm saying something, and you feel what I'm saying? It can uh, change people's lives. You feel what I'm saying? The way music has changed my life in ways. Okay. Okay, so what would you say would be the plus of being an artist from New York? Like, I mean, like, New York is New York. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so it's, it's always so much exposure and everything going on here. You never know who you can meet. You feel what I'm saying? And being that you knew from New York, people expect more from you. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like you always put on a pedestal when you're a rapper from New, New York. Okay, so what's something that you learned being a New York artist, I would say? Um, about New York specifically or about just in like general? artistry in general. Um... 
it's a lot of art in New York, you feel what I'm saying? And the hip hop aspect to it always hit me, you know, like graffiti mm -hmm. and the break dancing, like the real old school feel always sat with me, you feel what I'm saying? Because that's where my pops listen to, so that's where mm -hmm. I grew up in. Okay, so what would you say is your proudest moment in music so far? Um, dropping the first project, to okay. be honest. So it's just like, I was just project. so like, you feel me, second guessing myself, you feel me, first starting off and just growing my sound or whatnot. That this, I know this is just like the beginning. Okay. And um, what's something like on your bucket list? What's something you want to accomplish? Um, I just want to, I just want to use my platform for the greater good. You feel what I'm saying? That's something I want to, I want to change people's lives in the, in, for me directly. Okay. And um, so when you're in the studio, like, what's your process like? Um, so I already have my verse written to a song or whatnot. Uh -huh. Um, I go in the booth. Um, I haven't learned to engineer my own thing, so I got so you the engineer. Learn to engineer. Yeah, I definitely, definitely need okay. to, cause like nobody knows my voice okay. the way I do, you know. Okay. But in the studio, you feel me? I get in the People booth. People say working with different engineers, though, you like, you know, learn different. Yeah, things. and this one, I, I haven't like, like I've stuck to this one. Like I met him like when I first started recording, so I, we we created, you know, like a type of chemistry. So like I always go to him, and he makes me sound. Uh, you feel me? Close to 100% the way I want to sound. You feel what I'm saying? So for right now, that's who I go to. Okay. So what's the, um, some of your dream collabs? Like, what's some artists that you want to collab with? There's a lot, bro. Give us two. Give us two. Two? Yeah. Drake and J. Cole. Drake, J. Cole? Yeah. Okay. For sure. All right. And then, um, so tell us what's next for you. Um, I'm the project is out. One of the songs is out. Definitely, I'm planning on dropping another video to one of the songs okay. on there. And then, like as far as musically, I'm putting out another uh, project. It's called the Bronx Bombers. So I'm just have it's gonna be like a straight feature tape. So it's me oh. and everybody I know from the Bronx. You feel what I'm saying? My mm -hmm. friends that rap, mm -hmm. all that. So we're gonna have like a collab thing type of thing. Okay, okay. So you definitely have some collabs coming. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, any names you want to shout out? Uh, shout out Sosa, shout out Nick Joy, shout out Tebow, shout out uh, Ty Breezy, Rady, shout out who else we got on there? We got C's. We got a lot. I want to do a lot. We we still we still working. You feel okay. what I'm saying? But it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna so be a good project. Definitely a lot more to come. For sure. 2021 or next year? Uh. This, this year, year, this year, we're going full okay. throttle, you feel what I'm saying? I just put out my first project, so I'm just trying to keep the momentum okay. building, you feel me? Okay, cool. So tell the people where to find you, where to find your music. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at dboogie with four O's. Um, you can find my music on all streaming platforms. Um, everything is on my Instagram, so you go to hit the link in my bio on my Instagram, you find everything musically I got out, you feel what I'm saying? And we're going to keep building, we're going to keep going. I got more coming soon. For me, stay tuned.